Could consciousness be a quantum process? I'm Christopher Voss, MD, MS, FCCP, a board-certified anesthesiologist. In previous videos, we've explored the possibility that consciousness could be more than just a product of the brain. Perhaps it's a field, much like the fields of physics, that connects and permeates the universe. We delved into the holographic universe and how our minds could shape reality through consciousness. Today, I want to take you deeper into this fascinating journey by discussing new research that suggests consciousness might be tied to quantum processes within our brains. This isn't science fiction. These theories are based on cutting-edge research, and I'll explain how they might impact our understanding of the brain and human potential. A recent study explores how consciousness could emerge from quantum processes in the brain's microtubules, which are part of the cell's structure. Traditionally, scientists believed that consciousness arose from neural networks in the brain, but this new research suggests something more. Microtubules, which play a role in the cell's structure and transport systems, might also host quantum processes that contribute to consciousness. In this research, scientists studied how anesthetics, like isoflurane, interact with microtubules. Anesthetics are known to induce unconsciousness by disrupting certain neural processes. This study revealed that stabilizing microtubules made it harder for rats to become unconscious under anesthesia, suggesting that microtubules play a critical role in consciousness. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that describes how particles behave on a very small scale, smaller than atoms. At this level, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, a phenomenon known as superposition. In this quantum realm, particles can become entangled, meaning they remain connected even when far apart. This new research builds on theories that suggest consciousness might be a quantum process happening inside our brain's microtubules. When anesthetics like isoflurane interfere with these quantum processes, they prevent the brain from maintaining consciousness. This supports the idea that consciousness could be tied to quantum states in the brain. Explaining it simply, microtubules as quantum machines. To make this easier to understand, think of microtubules as tiny antennas inside our brain cells. These antennas pick up and process information, not just from our immediate surroundings, but possibly from a broader field of consciousness. When you introduce an anesthetic, it's like turning off those antennas, stopping them from processing this information, which leads to unconsciousness. The study found that stabilizing these microtubules delayed the onset of unconsciousness, which means they may be a key player in keeping us awake and aware. If our consciousness is tied to quantum activity in these microtubules, it opens the door to understanding how deeply our brain could be connected to a quantum process, the power of thoughts and emotions. Now, if the brain is really connected to a quantum process, this could help us understand how we create our lives through the power of our thoughts and emotions. If consciousness arises from quantum states in the brain, our thoughts and emotions could influence those states. Just as particles in quantum mechanics change based on observation, our thoughts might shape the reality we experience by interacting with the quantum processes within our brains. This might explain why practices like meditation or visualization have a measurable impact on our mental and emotional well-being. Now, how can this knowledge be applied to improve your life? If consciousness is influenced by quantum processes, it might explain why things like meditation, mindfulness, or even creative visualization can change our mental states and overall well-being. You can think of your brain as a finely tuned quantum machine, constantly processing information from both the physical and potentially broader quantum realms. By engaging in practices that calm the mind and focus your awareness, like meditation, you may be fine-tuning your own microtubules, helping you stay more present, focused, and resilient in your daily life. An inquisitive yet conservative approach as a physician, it's important to remain grounded in science, even when exploring cutting-edge ideas like quantum consciousness. While the research on quantum processes and consciousness is still developing, it opens exciting possibilities for how we understand the brain and its potential. We need to approach these ideas with a balance of curiosity and caution. The connection between quantum mechanics and consciousness is still being explored, and while the findings are compelling, they remain speculative. 
However, by remaining open to new discoveries, we may one day have a clearer understanding of the role that quantum mechanics plays in the human experience. Could consciousness truly be part of a quantum process? This research gives us more reason to believe that it might. As we continue to explore these ideas, we can begin to integrate this understanding into our lives, using the power of mindfulness and focused thought to potentially enhance how we interact with the world around us. What do you think? Could consciousness be tied to the quantum realm? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video thought-provoking, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insights into the mysteries of the mind and consciousness.